just north of Manhattan, Bronx, New York tonight as we welcome you to historic Rose Hill Gymnasium. The oldest gym still being used at NCAA Division I college basketball opened 99 years ago and tonight they host their first Atlantic 10 Friday night showcase match of the Fordham Rams and the Duquesne Dukes. It's the ball screen. Coach talked to us about that. Keep the ball on one side for Fordham. Don't let it reverse. Rose for three. And we talked about shot selection for the two stars. To Michael, what he's going to do. Trey Williams being aggressive and looking for post-ups. Mahorcha just checked in. He's going to defend the guy on the floor. Kyle Rose kicked out to the corner. It's a three. It's no good a time by Will Richardson. An offensive rebound, which Fordham does well this season. Oh. Rose takes it in. He got fouled. And Williams got the front of it up by half court. To Michael for three. Got a good one. Got that's way off. Never good when the suit leaves his hand. I'm shaking my head already. Richardson. He got it stripped, got it back. Charlton swings it. Richardson, that's a three. Really nice job to create there. I know you said a lot of dribbling, but he made it happen. Here's Gray on the three, and he responds. It's Elijah Gray. Oh. Rozier. Oh, that's rejected again by Timbila. Charlton converts to the offensive end, and a foul is called as well. Over. Great job not letting him use the screen. We're talking about icing. That was it. Got it inside Rivera, and scooping shot is good. Charlton again. For the Fordham Rams. Here is Madour. Heavily guarded, gets it inside. Timbila got the basket and the foul. Clark is bumped and blocked, and it is saved. Rivera keeps it alive, finds a streaking Riley. Excellent point because Parker had 33, 34, and 30. Here's a steal, Kyle Rose. So very early in the second half. Rose to the tie, no. Offensive rebound got tipped by Timbiel on Rose has it. Charlton calling for it. There's the three for the tie. The three personal fouls. Duquesne's back up three. It's into the post here for Tripp. He got it and he got fouled. Good recognition of the mismatch. Tripp, the six point Duquesne halftime lead. Rose, who only played six minutes this back game, helping the to top. Tripp for three and that one's good. Rose corrals it. Got it back, it's a three ball. Now it's time out time for the Dukes. Four to Missouri. Arizona falling to Washington State. Just a reminder folks, Washington State, Kyle Smith, I've said this throughout this week before he even beat Arizona, should be up for National Coach of the Year. Washington State may win the Pac-12. Today he's been great again, he's got four dimes. Inside Timbila, that's easy. The play out of the corners. They gotta get on the three-point shooters as well. Fordham hit three threes in the first half. As Rose goes in again, and he scores in this foul by Drummond. It was too easy, he came out to the no, no, That's what they can do, they can review it if they call it a goal tent, which they did. So we'll find out at the under 12 and it's confirmed when they get that. Trip. Solid second half as well for him. Battling against the Michael. Feeds it in for Tambila. Against Ronan. That's a two. Fordham is feeling it here. Charlton brings it up. For three. Not gotten past the three point line, line yet. Rose. It's going to be a travel. Barre Rozier on him, and Barre comes over, now they kick it. Extra pass inside Rivera. Barre gets back on D, but Rivera scores anyway. Well, a push off by Rose, he got away with there. Kicks it, three, inside Charlton. Work out of it. Rose a little frustrated here, Charlton. Tough fadeaway shot, it's good! Offensively, 
when you're not doing it for each other, and defensively when you're not locked in. Heads up. Great young player, man. 79-67 the final. Fordham wins it by 12 after being down by six of the half.